Hey guys, it's Gator, and this is the Standard Overviews match against Castle War. Link in the description. Make sure you check out his channel. I've been watching his videos for a while. He's a pretty cool YouTuber. This is, this is a pretty quick match. Yeah, we got a pretty quick match this time because I have homework to do, so it's good to have a pretty quick match to upload for you guys. And I'm going to lead off with Rotomosh, you know, pretty safely. Volt switch out of there if you want. And he leads off Politoed. I was expecting him to switch, really. But he decides to stay in and take the Volt switch, which he does live because Politoed has decent special bulk. I'm just going to go into Ferrothorn to take a possible Choice Specs HP Grass, but he goes for Hypnosis, which makes me think he might be a Rest Chesto Politoed because I don't see leftovers and he let his Politoed take that Volt switch. So now I'm going to make a double switch back out in Rotomosh, knowing he's going to want to switch and not leave. Uh, Politoed in. And now I'm going to go for the trick, thinking he could go for a Swords Dance, or you know, whatever. And he goes for a Bulk Up, which is good. So tricking early in the match isn't bad in this situation. Where in most situations, it's pretty bad. But I do have Black Sludge, so I'm going to get hurt, like, every turn. But that uh, Toxic Croak is forced to switch, which is good. And he's forced to switch into Latios, which is even better, because I can both switch out and get the upper hand on the switch saying switch all over the place and I get to go to the weather war with Tarmanitar and have the sandstorm up and be able to easily annihilate him with the incoming pursuit because I'm not letting that Latios leave because <laughs> that Latios will be a pain especially if I have stuff like HP fire and just steamrolling through my team. So now he's going to go into Starmie and I know I can live a life orb hydro pump, but I was really worried about like a specs hydro pump or some random thing that come off to come off this army. So I'm gonna go into Ferrothorn to take it and see what type of variant where this lefty is life orb choice in some way. It is life orb, which I should have expected seeing most armies are a uh, life orb hydro pump ice beam. And you get the deal. Starmy is just fast and just hits you. But he's gonna go into Conkleder, and Conkleder, to be honest, is the biggest threat I saw. From his team, from the simple fact that my only decent way of handling Conkleder is going into Glissor, taunting it to leave it at plus one, which you'll see, and beating it out one on one. And if he would have switched out and saved it for later, and like try to get rid of Glissor, I probably would have lost. Because uh, the only thing I can really do is use Rotom Wash and try to hit it faster. Or try to hit it since I'm faster. You get the point. And. I don't like relying on Hydro Pump, if you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, we all know Hydro Pump has base 80 accuracy, but uh, I don't I don't think it's base 80. I'm not even kidding. But I do get up a couple Swords Dances. I think I'm at... Well, that was my first Swords Dance. So, basically, he still has that plus one defense, remember. And if you realize he doesn't have Payback, he has Stone Edge. I'm like, okay, that might work out in my favor because he could miss. But then on the other hand, Stone Edge has a high crit chance. So he could be hitting all Stone Edges and get a crit on me, which would basically mean GG, because all I could do is pray for some Hydro Pump crit hacks, which probably wouldn't even kill it, I don't know. But, uh, I do have plus four attack now, and well, I guess plus three attack, because uh, he does have the bulk up, so I'm going to go for the Earthquake now, because this next Stone Edge could kill with a crit, and I can just get the damage off of Rotom Wash, should be able to revenge it with Hydro Pump, but no crit, and Glissor is able to Beat Conkleder one on one, which was the biggest threat of my team. Like I said earlier, he's gonna go for the Mog Punch. If he got a crit here, I would have been pissed. I don't even know if a crit would have killed it. I don't think it would have killed. But yeah, Earthquake to the Conkleder. Conkleder dies. Your play of the game. Such an enthusiastic, brilliant play right there. That took so much skill to predict that. <laughs> this was just a really short battle. I just had to upload something, and I like Castle Wars videos anyway, so. That would be pretty cool to upload a battle against him. So he's going to go for the Focus Blast, if you saw there, which was a mispredict on his part. I thought he was Rest Chesto, so I thought I would outspeak. I do run a couple speed EVs, but nope. So the Politoed dies. And now he's going to bring out Toxic Croak. I'm fearing a pretty obvious Ice Punch, but he goes for a Drain Punch, which probably means he does not have Ice Punch. And now he's going to go into Starmie, because he probably has Thunderbolt or something. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, trying to catch Jirachi for some reason. But of course I missed, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go into Tyranitar, thinking he'd go for a Thunderbolt. But he actually goes for Cosmic Power. So I'm thinking, oh shit. What if my Crunch doesn't kill? Because I know Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump will too a KO. What if I don't run any attack EVs? What if my Crunch won't kill this thing? That would just be annoying as shit. He's going to go for the Hydro Pump. I live that. 
with like one third health. I'm gonna go for the crunch and it dies. So plus one defense isn't enough to stop Tyranitar's monstrous attack and Tyranitar is happy. Tyranitar is not sad face or confused face or whatever face you want to imagine Tyranitar having. So now I'm gonna go into Rotom Wash just to scout out what set this Jirachi is, whether it's a Calm Mind Water Pulse Thunder variant or a especially defensive Body Slam Iron Head. He goes for the Iron Head, which means he's probably the Body Slam Iron Head variant. So I'm gonna Volt Switch out of there because this War can handle that set, unlike the Calm Mind Thunder Pulse variant where it just gets pooped on. So he does go for the Body Slam, and that does nothing. I'm just gonna get it basically all back from. The amazing ability known as Poison Heal. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. Since I am faster, I run a couple speed EVs on this. And it won't kill, obviously. And he goes for a Water Pulse. I'm like, hold up. You have Body Slam, Iron Head, and Water Pulse all in the same set, which really caught me off guard. And if he would have got the confusion right there, I could have possibly lost my Glissor. Glissor is such an amazing Pokemon, I didn't want to lose it. I couldn't lose it. So I'm just gonna go for Earthquake and finish off his Jirachi. Jirachi is down. That iron heading water pulsing body slamming thing and all he has left is his scarf toxicroak and he does not pack ice punch so drain punch won't do that much at all and i can go for an earthquake and not finish it off because i don't run attack evs but you already know what's going to happen finish it off next turn with the earthquake and that's going to be the game uh make sure to like the video on the last video i don't think it appeared in people's sub boxes for some reason which is kind of weird i don't understand how the sub box thing works but please make sure you like the video or pass the word around or something. Because uh, I'm doing this for you guys. This is the whole week of freaking Pokemon's battles. But um, that should be it. Tomorrow will be another day, another battle. And it's Gator, and I'll see you guys next time.